it goes in. Alrighty, so today what we are gonna do is we are gonna go over the Ryobi 18 gauge brad nailer, the pin nailer, and the stapler really quick. Now I've had these tools for a while and I cannot believe I haven't done a video on them yet, a real video. In earlier videos when I uh, uploaded working on the house, I used the brad nailer a lot. Uh, but yeah, I cannot believe I haven't done a video of this of either of these yet. I do have one complaint about the brad nailer. This did not happen with the other two yet, but if this gets too cold, this will not operate. You need to pretty much keep this at uh, sort of room temperature for it to work properly. Do not know if that is also the case for the Dewalt in Milwaukee, but when it comes to this one, it actually uh, the uh, it. It's weird on, on how the cold actually prevents this from working. One thing I'm going to say is when it comes to the pin nailer, I did not buy this. Uh, a YouTube channel sent this to me. Uh, he's called Dad It Yourself. Uh, he sent me this about a year ago, and I thank him so much for doing so. And so go check out his channel. It's in the description below. He uploads tool reviews. He uh, does how-to videos, works on gutters, and installs stuff. And so, yeah, go check him out. He's a good watch. So... Alrighty, so this is the brad nailer. This is the 18 gauge brad nailer. Now, you're able to use 5 eighths to 2 inch brads in this. 18 gauge, of course. So this is model number P320. Uh, there's nothing other specs that I just showed you, the size of nails you are able to do this. This is a non, this is a non extra tool function to be able to maintain your, uh, maintain the housing. And it is very easy to put brad nails in there. Just like that, then you're good to go. So now with this, you are able to do 1,700 brads in one charge. I'm assuming that's with a four amp hour battery. All right, so it does have a, two LED beams on the front. It does have its own LED button right underneath the trigger. It does have its own nail depth, a toolless nail depth. You just turn that turn it down for it to go in more. You turn it up for it to not go in as far. You also have a pressure dial on the back. And so uh, it, it's good. It's 100% uh, toolless and uh, cordless in every way, which is awesome. This really is an awesome brad nailer. All right, so we're gonna test out the uh, 18 gauge brad nailer first. I'm actually gonna put a few more in there. And yes, I do use DeWalt brad nails. There we go, it's just that simple. Make sure it's flat. Good to go. All right, it is warm out, so I do not have an issue with this right now. Got the LEDs going there. All right, so we're gonna test out uh, the brad nail. It does have a single shot and multi shot, so we're gonna test, test them both out and see what those actually mean. All right, let's do it. Works very well. All right, let's let's try the 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 multi shot, the like the switches right here. Now I'm just wondering if you're able to hold the trigger down and just go at it. Let's see. Yep. Wow. Not too shabby. That's not sh not too shabby at all. All right, like I said, it, it's actually a good brad nail because as you can see, there are zero, there are zero mistakes. No, nothing is sticking up, zero mistakes. All right, so this is the stapler. This is model number P360. Now this is not a stapler like a staple gun. This actually puts real staples in it, which I got some right here. And so, yeah, so it's not like your, your regular automatic like desktop stapler. So you just put them in there inside like so. You close it up, then you're good to go. It, it, same thing, it has a, a separate button for the, L, the double L, LED light. Now this one is not a toolless function. You actually need to get an Allen key and undo these if you have a jam in there. 
And so it seriously, it seriously is awesome. And of course, on all, all of them, they just push that in. It automatically engages the, the lights. So for this, you're able to do a 3 8 by one and a half inch crown staples. Sorry, the crown staples. And so, yeah, it's the same thing. Uh, the depth right here, how far you want it to go. The pressure, uh, the air pressure that you want to set it to. And so it's very easy to use. It's very easy to use. And so then, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. It does look like it comes with an extra tip on this one. And so, yeah, so this is, uh, it's seriously a good, uh, a good tool. Let's uh, try the crown staple. Add a tad bit more pressure. There we go. Okay, now let's see if we turn it to, let's turn it to the multi, the multi shot. Let's see how well this performs. Up to it. Does it, does it pretty fast. It does it pretty fast. All right, so those are all the, the crown staples. It does it pretty fast in my opinion. Then finally, the pin nailer. This is model number P318, 23 gauge pin nailer. This has no other settings, uh, no pressure settings, no uh, how deep you want it to go. This just uh, flat out is you a lock and load, then you're good to go. You could use one and a half inch up to one and three eighths inch. So that's a good setting. So you just load it up like that. And these tell like these are so small that it tells you the direction you need to point them towards because they look the same. Then you're good to go. All right, uh, a single LED light on the top, and that's pretty much it for that. Now, when it comes to the pin nailer, this actually doesn't have uh, any special features on it. You just pull the trigger, then you're good to go. So, like the there is a safety thing. There is a safety. On the pin nailer, you gotta actually hold, pull the trigger down right there. All right, so let's go to town. Yeah, you gotta pull the trigger every time. And let's see if, yep. Just to show you guys, the pin nailer is 100. The the nails are so small. I shot one from the side out of the side just to show you guys. So there's the the 23 gauge nail. This will fire like a like a gun. Yep. See, let's see if we can zoom in on that. Let's see, check this out. There you go. Now if I do it too far, it just bounces off. Yeah, it just bounces off. But if you do it close, It goes in. And if you take a look at here, all the staples, brads. So yeah, pin, 23 gauge pin nail. So yeah. So, the, so that's pretty much it. I just wanna show you guys this just to show you what these actually do. Now, now, when it comes to doing versus videos against the other brands like DeWalt uh, Milwaukee, I do not know on how these would perform or how quick the other ones are. So when it comes to the airstrikes, I'd bring this, when it starts to get cold in your house, I'd bring just, just bring these inside. I do. I bring these inside uh, when it starts to get cold out because if, when I need it, I don't want it to wait. 
I don't want to wait for it to get warm. I just want to show you guys this video just to show you on how well they work and they work very well. Uh, I'm not now, I'm not sure if I got a, a lemon, uh, your bread mailer, your bread mailer might not do what it does to me when it gets cold, but yeah. But uh, I, I've, uh, when I first complained about that, people say that's a common thing for uh, nailers when it comes to the cold. So you might experience something different, but I guess a lot of people across all brands have to deal with that in some ways so all right so that's pretty much it if you found this video very informative and entertaining please like this video please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel this is dave nicholas thank you for tuning in i'll see you guys next time